My name is Marcelo, I'm 35 years old and this story I'm about to tell happened to me 16 years ago. At the time I was very young. I was about 19 years old and I lived in a place close to the city. A whole week and when the weekend came, me and some friends who were my neighbors at the time, we would come to town on Saturday, usually for some party that had. We left the house around 6 p.m. and got back around 2 or 3 a.m. As the place where my friends and I lived was close to the city, we walked every time. We always took the same path. But the curious thing is that this path was not the shortest. There was a trail that cut the road and if we went through it, it would save us at least 15 minutes. On one of those Saturdays I asked my friends why we never took the shortest route when it would be better for us. One of them told me it was because of the boy who smiled at her. I didn't understand and asked, what do you mean, the boy who smiles at her? Then he told me that there was a rumor that anyone who went through that trail was accompanied by a boy who kept smiling while the person went through a climb. As soon as the climb ended, he stopped smiling and walked away. This boy always went after the person and he couldn't look back. In fact, everyone was afraid to look at this boy because no one knew what he was like human or something supernatural. I didn't know whether to believe it or not. The fact is that I was curious and dying to go through that trail. That way I convinced my friends to go for her. They had never been there either and were curious. The only thing they asked me was that the moment I saw a whistle, that I didn't look back. So I said I wouldn't look. We started walking along this trail and as soon as we saw the rise where the boy supposedly appeared, fear took over everyone and we started to climb in silence, when suddenly we began to hear a smile. I shivered all over and really couldn't look back. In fact, we ran out of that place and arrived in the city extremely tired. We looked at each other with a face of astonishment. Everyone was white and with wide eyes, because it really happened. We tried to forget what happened, enjoyed the party and around 3 and we had to go back. Then we stopped in front of the normal road that we were used to passing since forever and the trail where something completely strange happened. We looked at each other and I ended up saying to go back along the trail, because it could have been something in our heads. I needed to prove that it hadn't been a big deal. Everyone then agreed and we decided to go back along the trail. By the time we went down the hill, fear had already taken over all of us. As soon as we started to descend, the whistling started again. My friends once again ran off and I would have done the same, but I didn't. I needed to look and see that, so it was just me and the boy on the trail. I kept walking slowly and he kept following me. That's when I turned quickly and looked back and listened. His skin was dark and his eyes were red. He was totally without clothes. I instantly froze, so he hissed again, looking at me with those wide red eyes. I got scared and ended up slapping his face. At that moment I didn't feel my hand anymore, I couldn't move it. Then I ran out, looked back again and the boy was already gone. I arrived at my friend's house asking for help, because I didn't know what to do. I told him everything, said that the boy was real and that I even touched him but that I had lost the use of my arm. My friend took my arm and saw that it was white, so he told me that the blood had stopped circulating there. That's why I couldn't move it. But we did some exercises and soon it was back to normal. Everyone was astonished at what had happened and that's when I realized it was something supernatural. It couldn't be a normal kid who was even in need of help. It's been 16 years and even today my arm can't stay in one position for long but the blood starts not circulating properly. But that wasn't even the most serious sequel. The most serious thing for me will be carrying that whistle in my mind accompanied by the horrible image that that boy had.